in any of these places. I know how I end up on that street. I just suggest to every opportunity I had. I ended up living in Costa Rica for a month and a half. <laughs> and it was amazing. From Manuel Antonio, I went to Santa Teresa. Then I went back to Manuel Antonio and I discovered new beaches in there. And then I went to Puerto Viejo, to the Caribbean. For getting to Santa Teresa, you can go by land or you can take a boat from Punta Arenas, close to Hague. I did that and it was one of the most beautiful boat rides in my life. The water was like silk, I saw some dolphins on the way and I arrived to Montezuma, a really beautiful town close to Santa Teresa. So this is Santa Teresa. It's a main street. It's like 30 minutes to walk from one tip to the other tip. Most of the people just rent an ATV. It's very quiet so far. I have a supermarket next to me. There is just one bank that opens from 1 to 6. Very weird schedule. Most of the beach towns in Costa Rica is a surf town. The beach is beautiful in its own way, but the current is strong and usually brings a lot of food, so you will find a lot of sticks on the way. Most magical thing though, the sunsets. They were like something I have never seen before. That is the entrance to the beach. I was just walking around here. All of these are just mango trees. And this just fall next to me. I ate it, it was delicious. And yes, the entrance to the beach is like a jungle. A horse, by the beach, by itself. You, and you, hi. You don't want to be disturbed, you're stressed. Don't be stressed. Sweetie. In Santa Teresa, there are many restaurants. There are Asian restaurants, Italian restaurants, Costa Rican restaurants. And there is a place that many people have recommended to me. It's called The Bakery. It's a cafeteria and they have amazing desserts. Well, I'm gonna judge it by myself. Oh my god. Now that you got me started, I just can't Pretty good. I would definitely go back. And they also have really good food. I've been exploring, walking around. This playa is actually called Playa del Carmen. It's just next to it. And being surrounded by nature is just... It gives you a lot. We are here in this world too flourish and to enjoy and to be our best versions. After exploring Santa Teresa for a week, I wanted to visit other places. People recommend that Montezuma and Manzanillo. Both places are like 40 minutes from Santa Teresa, so we rented a bike and we went to both of them. Montezuma is a quiet town with a beautiful beach, real cool waterfalls. I have a full video on that in case you want to know more about it. Manzanillo is closer than Montezuma and I had high expectations because people describe it as a really magical place. Maybe because it was rainy season, it wasn't that magical. It was beautiful, but in its own way. Costa Rica, there's something called sodas. No, not the type you drink, the type you eat at. This one's closed, but it's usually like a cafeteria style place you eat, and the food is 
it's so good. It's authentic food. And it's like the local, with local use. So it's like local price, you know what I mean? So it's not all fancy. You don't really have to wait in line. The best food. Tell me what do you have in there? Casado. Casado, it's <laughs> rice, beans, your protein of choice. Mm -hmm. And, and then sometimes they add plantain. And usually fries. Like, what? This is amazing. This is the food that you can expect to eat when you come to us. Look at mine. Mine is plenty of vegetables because mine is vegetarian. I love when they put content as well. But... Oh, look at that. That's good. Yes, that looks amazing. Listen, I'm just gonna... Okay. Okay. Oh. This just looks so good. Because it is. I know the good places. <laughs> also the bad places. What did you get this time? The ahi tuna bowl. Wow. And I got a lentils bowl. With mango in it. Wow. Santa Teresa has it all. From sodas to a restaurant marketplace with a bunch of healthy vegan vegetarian options. I think Santa Teresa has most of the places in Costa Rica is good for staying like a week. The beach is nice, the vibe is really good, the internet works perfectly. This time I stayed at Selena as well and the co-work in the Santa Teresa South as they call it is amazing. The room was pretty nice and yeah, I would go back. In total, I spent two weeks in there, and then I decided to go back to Manuel Antonio. Same process for going back to Manuel Antonio. A boat ride. Sons that I couldn't visit the first time I was there. I'm on the way, on my way to the beach, and you see things like this. You can see so many animals around here. And this walk, it's supposed to be like half an hour, but it's so worth it. There's so many beautiful flowers. Go to the beach. You have to go through the jungle, usually, mostly, and then eventually you will get to the beach. It's a tiny bay, really nice. This is my last day, my mom told you. Now I'm going to Santa Teresa. No, not to Santa Teresa, Puerto Viejo, to the Caribbean. Every place I go, I meet new people and I learn something. In here, I reinforce the idea that you have to keep in life the people who inspire you, who push you, who challenge you, who love you, who makes you better. You can choose who to welcome in your life. I'm very grateful because I have found during my life many people that have inspired me in many ways. So one more time, off we go to the road.
now I am in Puerto Viejo. It feels so good here. It's just a different vibe. I'm so glad I made it here. It took like five hours? No, seven. No, it took seven hours. <laughs> seven hours in this little bitty van. And the guy was a pro though. He had been driving for like 40 years. He got a little sick, but he knew all the good food spots. It wasn't that bad. The main mode of transportation, I think, is a shuttle, and it's nice if you can get your own type of shuttle. That's what we did. Yeah. And look, we woke up in this paradise. Look at this. This is a way different vibe than. Yeah, look at this. But it seems like the vibe here is, I mean, we're in the Caribbean side of things, so there's actually a big... Jamaican community. Oh yeah, there's a lot of Jamaicans here. It's and a mix, it's not just the Caribbean. It's the Caribbean with a lot of Jamaican influence. So you can see many places with the Jamaican flag, like the Rasta colors, the food is also having its influence by Jamaica. I want to try that. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm very excited. And then I've seen like the stickers on the car. Cool. Chill, relax. What I, what I really like about this town, what I've experienced so far, is it's not just a one-way street like a lot of towns in Costa Rica. There's actually a town where it has different sections. Um, you can go explore. I don't know. It's like there's places to eat. There's a co-work. There's laundry. Markets. Everything is. Yeah. 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 But with food, like shawarma. Yeah, I mean, yeah, of course, yeah. Of course, it's vegan. Lion Brasa, <laughs> there is nothing more Brasa than that. You can walk through the streets. And as usual in Costa Rica, you find the jungle on one hand and the beach on the other hand. But look at those trees. It has some boats in it that look so beautiful. And the people are really nice. Different beaches, one of them has black sand. And the other two are pretty nice too. It's not turquoise water like in other parts in the Caribbean, but it's a really good vibe. So this was my home for two weeks. I love it because you have internet here, and you have the woods there, and you have the ocean there. That's the co-work. And in that tree, there is a slab. There is a pool. And I love this house. I think this place was from the 60s or something like that. So it has a very cool vibe. Here is where I work most of the day. I love it. I had my own private office in here to read what I usually use this desk. Look at the kitchen. I love this open kitchen. Yeah. I'm going to work in here and some bikes as well. So I walk everywhere. Town, the town that side, the town this side. My room was across the street. This time it was quite interesting because it was literally a hut. Thank you. Thank you. This is different coconut than I've seen before. Yeah, 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 it is. I bet the meat is still like as good. It's super, it's better. Damn. This is the secret. <laughs> to, eternal, to happiness? No, to eternal life. Mm. Key to youthfulness. Mm. I want some. 
Well, drink, drink up. <laughs> You're wasting time. This is so good. It's it's the perfect welcoming drink. I feel so that I can relate this place with the place I grew up. It's just. I feel so happy just being here. I think I am surrounded by so many like good messages. I mean, I have several expectations about this place because everyone says something different about it. But I think it depends on how you project the world. I project a really good world, I guess, because I'm very happy for being here. Find a place to eat. That was my last stop in Costa Rica. I would have never thought that I would end up living there for a month and a half. To get there, we needed a PCR, an insurance covering the whole period of time you were supposed to be there, a ticket, a proof that you're going out at some point. It was an amazing experience. And then, I was so close to Panama that I decided to cross the border by land, and then by boat, and then I went to other islands. Bocas del Toro. That is the most beautiful beach I have ever been.